Mikey Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. And we are underway for this scheduled 12 rounder. Able to dismiss it. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. A headshot blocked. Goes up top with a right hand. Watch that! And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Well played, straight right hand. Junior's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. down the final moments of this round. <laughs> round comes to an end, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. underway how about that left hand you need to keep that head moving able to cover up that gut and now just wasting away some time with that clinch Another clinch. Gets rid of that body shot. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. Able to dismiss that body shot. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. Nice block.
showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. This round comes to an end. It's a round family. in which this, this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't up. land a lot of punches. Like I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. And round number three is underway. On the mark with a straight left hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Junior. Look at this, another power punch I'm able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Big power punch by Junior. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And now he, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Big shot. One shot and down, Teddy. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Yeah. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Finish with a hook. Stay away from those. Come on. Junior's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. And he just holds on there. That's a solid hook by Junior. Off the mark there. Work the body, kid. Body shots. The left hand coming into play by Junior. Back to the body. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. And that's the end of round three. Bring your hands up. Right here. Come on, relax. Relax. Shake it out. Shake it out. You gotta relax. You gotta move out there, right? Move, move, move. Come on, breathe. You are looking good. Real good out there. Look at him. He's tired. He's real tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen, I need you to double up on your punches and keep that lead fired, all right? Junior's in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, he may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. Well, his opponent keeps squaring up with him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Halfway through this round here. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Shot. Left and right, left and right. Body
body shot left hand. Good work defensively by Junior. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. So he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. And this round comes okay, to an end. Okay, relax. Junior's relax. cornermen have a lot of work ahead of them with that cut. Stay alert, okay? Stay alert. You're letting this guy get away. Come on. This is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. you got to move your hands. All right, let's go. You need to move your head, okay? Sight to something. Round number five has arrived. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Junior's the target of a hook. Good flush shot upstairs. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Right to the belt line. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets Keep caught. He digs in with a left hand to the body. He's got confidence he can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Junior's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Hey, look, you, you're standing. Okay, champ. That's nice work, baby. Real nice work. I don't wanna see no one punch. You're throwing the uppercut, but I need to see another punch right after. He steps inside, uppercut and hook, uppercut. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. Relax, relax. Good, solid right hand he lands there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Commits to the straight right. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. 
Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Right hand downstairs. Not able to land the uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Junior's taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that in his trainer. More importantly, you shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these rounds. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he has changed the script a little. Flip the script a bit. Keep moving. Keep moving. Junior's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Very accurate with the overhand right. Junior's well off the mark that time. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And round seven comes to an end. You have to be busy. This guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw. All right, now I need you to sit down on your punches. Sit down on your punches. Now when he gets close, uppercut and hook. Get in and throw the uppercut and hook, all right? Round number eight in front of us here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. You can see that he's trailing here. I mean, my big criticism all night long is that his work rate just hasn't been enough. But his opponent hasn't dazzled. No, not at all. And that's why he's winning, because his opponent is doing just enough to lose. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His punch, feet are not punch. set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are.
90 seconds to go. Junior's cracked by a right hand. Much action as he just ties up. Last ten seconds of the eighth round. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Junior. This has been a hotly contested war throughout. And you just good. have a sense it that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Don't fight going backwards, right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your feet. go. The ninth round of this good fight. Junior's out there. He's out there fighting this fight, but for how long? He's still damaged coming off that line. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Pace yourself. Junior's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. That's the there it is! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five! So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking? About now. Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? fight is over. Juniors unable to get up and continue on. The beauty of this game, it doesn't matter how much you're losing by, you can always pull it out. Such is the case, Teddy. He was down on your scorecard. He's a knockout winner. Yeah, it doesn't matter really what's going on in front of you. It matters what's going on inside of you. He never gave up on himself, as you just said, and this is the result. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.